Hi guys, it is June 25, 2019. I want to address some comments that I received underneath uh, the comprehensive sexuality education, unbelievable. And then I want to uh, present some material and I, I've been, I am tired. I'm tired. Somebody left a, a comment talking about how we are in serious trouble, and I'm paraphrasing the comments, but we're in serious trouble. Americans need to get on the same page quickly. And he was absolutely right. How do you get Americans on the same page? Got me. I'm clueless. Couldn't even get friends of mine on the same page. And when you're not on the same page, a whole lot of disruption happens. Our thinking needs to be evaluated. One needs to think about how they think. One needs to ask themselves, am I getting off focus? Okay. There were several people who left comments, having done research on the, the Susan Slater who produce this video and they left links I did check out this Susan Slater not a woman that has agendas that I respect she is as far as I'm concerned with some of these agendas is a dangerous woman and she causes harm why because she brings her personal beliefs into the agendas that she is advocating, like uh, advocating that African nations, advocating at the United Nations, that the United Nations do not decriminalize homosexuality. She compares homosexuality to incest, sexual abuse, rape, drug dealing, assaults, and other crimes. Uh, she's an advocate for the normal family, meaning heterosexual. And she advocates or is a prominent believer in reparative therapy for homosexuals. They need to be cured. So she sees homosexuals, they're diseased, they need to be cured. Well... I ain't standing with her on any of those agendas. And I'd have a lot to say to her on those agendas. However, there's another agenda. The comprehensive sexuality education agenda that is taking place already in our public schools. This is the full version of the video that I posted I only posted the 11 minute video. I will link below to everything. And I will show you that it is being implemented. Now, if you don't have a basis of knowledge of the comprehensive sexuality agenda, uh, sexuality education curriculum that is already implemented, it's only become more explicit with each passing year, then you lack the knowledge to say, okay, Susan Slater, the family watch group, who, this was another link, linking to the Southern Poverty Law Center, that might want to be rethought because the Southern Poverty Law Center is an organization that is, that has an agenda. It's the New World Order agenda, and they list organizations as being hateful if it's against all of the agendas that are taking place in accordance with the United Nations uh, reshaping the world for this New World Order that already exists. So, but the Family Watch International, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of what I read here that 
there are a lot of sick, twisted people in our country. Well, that's why we can't get on the same page. I was sent this video <laughs> and well people in Poland seem to be able to get on the same page. Not Americans. Sending a basically police to enforce enforce vaccination. Ah. Where is it? Here. Eight days of protests, whole lot of people, guess what? They didn't pass mandatory vaccines. Americans are so screwed up and they don't focus on the right issues. So there were several subscribers who, Well, I guess they were discounting the information because it was published by the Family Watch group. Did you check out Judith Reisman? Did you check out the other people not associated with that group who are fighting against the comprehensive sexuality education agenda happening right now? Did you check out Judith Reisman, who I have a lot of respect for? She is uh, the expert that is called when talking about that Kinsey report, her research, she found out that Kinsey was using children, sexually abusing children, to get that data. She is about protecting children. The Reisman Institute is actively involved in defending our children from the devastating effects of all uh, pornographies. erototoxic manifestations in brain, body, mind, and memory. That's why they're starting with children at the ripe old age of four. Sex and relationship education its going to be made compulsory in all schools in England. Under the plans announced, children from the age of four will be taught about what's safe and healthy. Older people... Any adult who can listen to this and think this is appropriate is not a healthy, mature adult. To impose this curriculum on fourth, on, on four-year-olds. So I get comments from people that I'm a mini tyrant wanting to impose my rules and regulations. I, it's the, they go to that religious there's nothing, well, there is a lot going on with Susan Slater. Her religious beliefs she brings in to her advocacy work, and that causes a lot of problems. Now, anybody who knows me knows that there are no religious beliefs that I have. But as an adult, you don't mess with children, and you allow children to be children. Um, well, you, a four-year-old presented this inf Why do we have ratings for movies? Why do we have movies rated R? Well, because that alerts parents that, okay, it's restricted, which means I shouldn't bring my child to this movie because it's not age appropriate for my child's age. But you think this is age appropriate? You can't understand that we've got agendas going on to destroy our freedom, individual rights, but parental rights. You can't see this as a government usurpation of parental rights. Now, if you had a basis of knowledge, 
of the comprehensive sexuality edu education, then you would not have been redirected finding out that this was um, produced by Family Watch, Susan Slater. You would have been horrified at all of the other agendas, but you would not have lost focus. Comprehensive sexuality education that is coming from the United Nations, UNESCO. You wouldn't have thought it's propaganda because you would have had that knowledge, that level of knowledge to understand, okay, I don't like who, who has produced this video, but it's factually accurate and you would have been able to stay focused. It's kind of like when I've posted videos on, on the dangers of psychiatric medications and I have included Citizens Commission on Human Rights. Comments come in and they discount all of the, the factually accurate information on the site because this apparently is a Scientology site. I did research on psychiatric medications for years. Then I came across this site. I know that what this site is publishing is factually accurate about the dangers of psychiatric medications. But no, oh, it's the Commission on Human Rights. Therefore, they have an agenda and you lose focus and you just discount all of the information. It's kind of like when I posted videos. You're promoting Alex Jones. I don't promote any, any person. I don't, I, my focus is information. Somehow that gets lost on people. My focus is the information, not the people. I don't care about Susan Slater, uh, Alex Jones, it's the information that's important. So, yeah, we do need to think about our thinking and bring it up to a level that is sharper and clearer and focused so that we can all get on the same page. You know, you're not going to take any of the information at face value, or you did take it at face value, but then you learned who it is, and then what? There, there's another agenda here. What? What? To get to get the four-year-olds who think that they're uh, homosexual into reparative therapy? No. This is focused on the sex ed that is happening in our public schools now. The focus is protecting the innocence of children protecting parental rights um, to choose how they want to bring their children up, protecting our freedom, the ripple effect. The ripple effect is, well, we all become adults and then we manifest our craziness or our sanity in that society. I think we all agree that we are living in a psychiatric institute now. I think we all agree that Americans are batshit crazy. Why? Because they don't know how to think. Because they think it's fine for them to impose their personal beliefs upon everyone. If people could just live their lives without other people telling them, oh, you're diseased because you're homosexual, or, well, how could you post this video? You know, because it's, uh, it has Susan Slater involved in it. We'll get nowhere. We will get nowhere. And that's a real shame. This is the demoralization of Americans, 
children, demoralization of American values, morals, traditions. We know that is, we know that that has happened. We know that we have been taken over. This is not about Susan Slater. It's about the continuation of demoralizing children. And these children become adults. Will they be healthy, sane adults? Not at all. Not at all. They will be traumatized. They will be confused. Four years old, presenting this information, um, and people think it's fine, and that kids need to be exposed to sex. It's the, the repression or oppression of religions that have caused all of you know our ills in society. Please. This has no place in school. Governments dictating how children will, um, dictating what they will learn, how they will be indoctrinated, taking away parents' rights to say, this I do not want my child exposed to at this age. So many parents fighting in so many different states. And what are they fighting? They're not fighting. There are some, I'm sure, who are fighting, you know, and holding the Bible and doing all that stuff. But based on my research, parents are saying, this is not age appropriate. Kansas. You got it going in Kansas? Really? And uh, all over? Uh, really? <laughs> a father is upset after his 13-year-old showed him a poster hanging on a classroom door, a poster listing sex acts. The poster was hanging in a classroom in Hawker Grove Middle School in the Shawnee Mission School District. And Mark Ellis says if what it lists is part of the curriculum, the curriculum needs to change. And we do want to warn you, one parent found it objectionable, and you may too. Late last week, Mark Ellis's 13-year-old daughter showed him a picture of this poster. Why would you put it in front of 13-year-old students? He thought the poster, which lists things like oral sex and grinding, might have been a prank until he contacted the school principal and was told it was a teaching material. The poster that you reference is actually a part of our um, middle school health and science materials. And, and here we have a well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society American. School districts receive funding. They receive additional funding when they implement this comprehensive sexuality education curriculum. Money trumps all. You know, decades ago, there was some morals in Americans. They're gone. Very few actually live. You know, the principles that they speak, very few live in accordance with, uh, call it whatever you want, God's law, natural law. You're living to not harm other sentient beings. And you don't want them harming you. This woman should be yanked out of her position because she is harming children. And how it is that these people think, you know, what they're doing. Well, money, money, money. It's all I care about. Don't care about the children. Think about Wi-Fi. Think about the cell towers on school property. Ah, we'll get money if we allow a telecommunications company to put a cell phone on our property. We don't care about the children's health. We just care about the money. Vaccine. Vaccine. 
uh, pushers. Money. We don't care about the children. We like the money. We have a very sick society and that sickness comes from each individual, how they think and how they live. And if that individual does not do the work necessary to pull them from a very low level of consciousness that lets them live these immoral lives while they're telling themselves they're just fabulous, we will get nowhere. So, you like that? Uh, this is exactly what the video, all of the people were talking about in that video that I posted yesterday. Factually accurate, and that's all you need to know. Um, you don't need to leave comments underneath people's, other people's comments. And you are trying to redirect them off the main focus, the abuse of children. You want to lead them away from the main focus like you were led away. Bring your focus back. The focus is not Susan Slater. It's this that is going on right now. Court. The school district in Montana's capital is proposing new graphic sex education curriculum for students as young as five years old. Angry parents in Helena filled a school board meeting this week to demand the curriculum be pulled. The K-12 through program not only includes graphic content, but also promotes the gay lifestyle. In first grade, children would be taught that human beings can love people of the same gender. By fifth grade, children would hear graphic content about numerous types of sexual acts. And in high school, they will be taught that erotic images in, quote, art help people understand sexuality. And for more on this story, we are joined by Katie Walker of the American Life League. Katie, thanks. All right. There are a lot of organizations who are fighting um, to get rid of this curriculum. It's not just Family Watch. But it's happening all over. Lawmakers want to make a change to sex ed in Nevada schools. Nevada, Montana, Kansas, and of course, California. Shocking. It is sickening. It is corrupt. It is graphic moral offenses. Parents are demanding San Diego Unified suspends the sex ed curriculum. Some of them kept their kids home from school today in protest. And 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live outside district headquarters where things got so heated, the board president was ready to clear the room. Rachel. Lindsay, this is the third time in less than a year that parents came to one of these meetings to ask the board to suspend or replace that sex ed program. They point to some of the supplemental materials to the curriculum, like this book, it's perfectly normal, but the parents say this book is too graphic, too soon. Too much, too soon. Parents, pastors, and children chanted outside. It's all about our children. Yes, it is. Trusting you. Once inside, things got even louder. This district has done a bait and switch with this curriculum. It's not medically accurate. It is not scientifically based, and it is not healthy. And it is mandated by the state. Let's have order in the board meeting, please. The sex health education program is taught to kids in grades 6, 8th, and high school at San Diego Unified and several other districts. The new curriculum was adopted last year following the California Healthy Youth Act. Ashley Beaver is a parent and substitute teacher leading the effort to get the program replaced. We don't think that talking about oral, anal, and vaginal sex in the 6th grade is entirely appropriate or telling middle schoolers they can use a flavored condom. <laughs> no, it is not appropriate. And parents, you need to step up your game um, because government really is taking over. So for those who love comments, and I've gotten these kinds of comments, I've never seen that. I don't know anybody who does that. I don't know any child who 
who uh, is presented this information or subjected to this uh, curriculum. This is bullshit. Oh, fabulous thinking. Fabulous narcissistic thinking. I don't know, so therefore it ain't happening. Okay, well, how do we get on the same page? You know, it's funny because there are people who believe that I hate Christians and, you know, this thinking. I don't like hypocrisy. And I posted a video on Kafka Winston World. When this woman right here, um, the activist mommy, not sure if that's uh, the her social media name. She posted on, and it was a very passionate um, post about Vogue, preteen magazine, teaching preteens about anal sex. And she came out, posted a video, and everything that she said was right on. I reposted it on my channel. And I got hit with comments. She's a crazy religious zealot. She's this. She's she's Christian. Okay. Well, she can have her beliefs. And I can respect her. I'm not. I have very different beliefs. Well, I don't even... My only belief is truth. Truth. That's it. Um, I would stand with her on any given day. But people will throw out all of the information that she had said previous to her close of the video where she's talking about her uh, Christian beliefs and uh, yeah there are a lot of Christians who are imposing their beliefs on everybody else. Um, I take offense to that but if they are standing with the truth, if they are standing to protect children, and it's not about repression or oppression, and they're standing on you know their right versus government right, I will stand with them. So, gotta get out of that you know throw the baby out with the bathwater thinking. Got to get out of your dichotomous thinking. It's either one thing or the other, and that's it. You know, black, white, red, blue, liberal, conservative, like there's no in-between. Understand nuance. Understand nuance. Understand that there are people who are simply focused on the information and don't really care about who's putting that information out. As long as it is factually accurate. Um, so, you know, what this woman has to say about this. Wait, tell us about our planning. Uh, sex ed, even though she's Christian, does that matter? No. What she is saying is right on. Frustrated parents across the nation are planning a protest of public schools over what they call pornographic sex ed curriculums. The sex ed sit-out is taking place Monday, April 23rd, and Elizabeth Johnson, also known as the activist mommy, is involved in the movement and joins us now via Skype. Elizabeth, welcome back. Hi, Charlene. Thanks for having me. First of all, tell us what's going to happen on April 23rd. On April 23rd, we are asking parents across the nation and even across the globe to pull their children out of school on April 23rd. We have a letter that they can send to their principal explaining why. Because we are protesting graphic, gender-bending sex education in the schools. It's been brought to the attention of some of us um, mothers that uh, parents are grieved and increasingly troubled about the graphic nature of sex education. Even as young as elementary school students are being subjected to this, kids are being taught how to perform anal and oral sex on one another during class time at taxpayer expense. We are fed up enough is enough. We're not going to let these social Marxists uh, sexualize our children 
at taxpayer expense during school hours. And so if people can be marching uh, for, for uh, you know, gun control measures, then certainly we should be marching to protect the innocence of children. And I am right there with her. So, you know, there was another group here in California, and I received this from a subscriber, but it was after May 8 when I received it, so I didn't post it. Parents say proposed California health curriculum makes us sick. Um, informed parents of California. So if it was informed parents of California that produced this video, then it would have been okay. Then it might have been not propaganda. Then it might have been factually accurate. Then you would have taken the information on face value. Okay. Well, I just want to show you some of what is included in this curriculum. These books, Changing You, A Guide to Body Changes and Sexuality. This is for transitional kindergarten through grade three. Changing You. Transitional Kindergarten through grade three. Really? Is this appropriate? I'm a religious zealot who wants to uh, create sexual repression and oppression because I think this is age inappropriate. This is incredible. Uh, boys will also have more frequent erections. Why can't children just be allowed to be children? Why are they presented information that they do not have? They do not have the ability to understand. We used to have adults who understood age appropriate material for kids and now suddenly it's gone really and that teachers who are adults doing this well it it really reflects how diseased our society has become. This too is for uh, transitional kindergarten through grade three. Who are you? Ah, yes, kindergarten. What's that age for? Gender identity. Some people say there are only two genders, but there really are many genders. I am girl, boy, both, none, they're just me. Oh, and yeah. There are just a few words people use because there's more than two choices. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get into the etymology of the word gender and all that. We know what we're talking about. There is a boy and there is a girl. Biologically, there are two sexes. Not many. So, hey, kindergarten. You are teaching these kids, a kindergarten teacher teaches these kids, trans, you, you can use trans, gender queer, non-binary, gender fluid, transgender, gender neutral, agenda, neutrosis, bigender, third gender, two spirit, four years old, five years old, are you kidding me? Um, and you think these kids understand what the hell is going on? Many are very confused. Many are very confused. Here, this is uh, grades four through six. Yeah, this is what's happening to my body. For girls and boys, what's happening to my body? And here, teachers are teaching, preteens, teens, um, 
six years old. How old are you? Like 12, I guess. All about their penis and it getting bigger and it's swelling and masturbation. Um, I'm sorry. This is... And slang words. Slang words. Four, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. This is what teachers are teaching our kids. But, oh, well, <laughs> you don't have many parents fighting. And there are some, but most don't. Common Core, what's happening? with the academics in public schools. They're getting rid of the literary classics. The literary classics. And, hey, we'll teach them slang words about their penis and vagina and teach them how to masturbate. Huckleberry Finn, To Kill a Mockingbird. And it's replaced with nonfiction manuals. No joke. Informational text. But hey, we'll make healthy adults when we're teaching, you know, about you can be anything you want to be, but I'm a girl. Well, you can be a boy. Or you could be a mix of both. Kindergarten. And teach them all. This never happened before, so when you have a radical change, you need to question what, what is the objective of the radical change. Some people call an erection a boner or a hard-on. Look, they put out lies like this. They claim 92% of South Carolinians support comprehensive sex education in public schools. I call bullshit. Ah, but they did a survey. Um, most parents want comprehensive sex ed, but protests are getting louder. Well, in just that sentence, there is a contradiction. Um, U.S. students fall behind when compared to other nations. Yeah. Where are we ranked? 38 out of 71 countries in math, 24 in science. Our reading is abysmal and we're going to focus on this. Something's wrong with the adults in our country. And if we can't get ourselves right, nothing is ever going to change. Nothing. So I'll link below to everything. Yes, it's happening here. Just because you don't know that it is doesn't mean it's not happening. Yes, it's factually correct that video. Don't lose focus and focus on Susan Slater. Try to get on the same page. Ask yourself, is what I'm focused on relevant to the issue? If it's not, forget about it. Ask yourself, Okay, am I throwing the baby out with the bathwater because this person happens to be Christian, the activist mommy? If I am, I'm not about the truth. Oh boy, we're in deep, deep trouble.